Hey, welcome to 103.7 The Game and Cajun Red Zone Radio. I'm BJ Thompson and I'm standing in front of junior defensive lineman Carl Dunbar. Carl, first of all, uh, you know, talk a little bit about uh, your work this season and, and, and all the work effort you put in to get in on the field and uh, getting your opportunity to play this year. I knew starting off coming with a new, uh, new staff that came in, I knew I had to set, set like a standard for myself to know that I, I'll be on the field on Saturday. So I made sure all, when we were working in, in the weight room or on the field doing any type of drill, I was always running the first of the drill. I was always putting the, as much weight on the bar as I could, and I was always working, working out, trying to be vocal with my teammates and stuff like that. So that's that's the way I would, I would try to help myself try to get on the field. Now talk about a little bit about what you do in, in your tech and, and from that position because you're a different player from your dad. I've got an opportunity, you know, I'm a little old school, so I got a chance to watch your dad coming up at LSU and uh, play and then got to play in Minnesota. So, you know, he's more of a defensive end, you're more of an interior lineman, but just talk about maybe, the, you know, your role and what, you, what your job is at, at that tech. My, my job right now is maintain, just stop the run right now because I'm a bigger body than my dad was. My dad was more like a linebacker, DN, outside linebacker type. So as playing with my strengths, I know that there's, I have to take a double team for my team and I have to make sure I stop the run first and then work on my pass after. Talk about this group, this younger group, because you've been here now for – for a few years, and you you know you've been there with with Ringo and and Juicy, some of those guys who come through. But now you're working with a lot of younger guys. You know, Blaine was gone for a year, missed a lot of experience. He's back. Um, you got Tavoris, who's really a sophomore. La, uh, Ladarius kid, who's uh, a redshirt freshman, didn't play last year. And you got Osborne, who's a true freshman, working in that group. So maybe just talk about the potential there for that group down the road as y'all get better. We're playing together in the upside. First off, losing Ringo and Juice, it was a big deal because they were great leaders on our defense right now. And we know when they left, we had to step up as a defensive line because they need us because we're the heart of the team. And we, it all really starts up front. So I know with me, Blaine, Prater, and guys like Romaine, we're, we're all stepping up to try to be leaders, leaders for the D-line. And then when we got these younger guys like, uh, I, I know T, T. Lee, he, he was playing last year, so he, he, he's kind of an older guy. He had to step up anyway because he, he was playing last year. He knows what it's about. But I know when Mario got here, we had to put him on our wing and we had to. We have to make sure make sure he does no, nothing stupid and he just does his job on the field. Now, obviously, uh, going into the film room and watching uh, watching film after a tough loss like it was Saturday night, that's difficult to do. But you can't improve without understanding where you where, what mistakes you made and what you need to work on to fine tune and get yourself ready for the next opponent. So, you know, talk a little bit about that. What are the, some of the things that you guys, as a group, not necessarily just you, but you guys as a group on the defensive line? are going to be working on far as technique and, and this assignment. It was, a, it was a tough game for us. I mean, like, losing like that, a loss like that really makes you learn and humble yourself after after something like that. So as a group, we just know we have to, all the little details we didn't do quite as well last week, coach is getting on, getting on our butts even harder just to make sure that we know that it all really starts with us. We have to, in order for our team to do good, we have to do good. Yeah, and then this week against Louisiana Tech, um, I know you guys have watched the film. They played Kansas State. They played Western Kentucky. You know they've had some tough games. Um, you know what? What is what is you guys focused this week? Is it's the same thing? I'm sure you're just looking to improve and and stay focused and just take care of assignments. Oh, we definitely are. First off, Lot takes a great team. We all know that it's a great rivalry between us, and we know that that's very important to our fans and just just here with us. We know that when we go there, we got to handle business and we got to do every little thing right just to make sure we take that W home. Carl, as always, man, we wish you guys best of luck this week. Everybody stay healthy and go Cajuns. Right, thank you. Appreciate it, my man.